good evening, guys. How's it going? Okay. Well, I know it's a little bit late tonight, um, but you know what? I'm awake. <laughs> I'm ready. So uh, we are going to be doing some ornaments tonight. Okay. Um, I do have in front of me uh, taped down just slightly to a grid. Um, I've got these two and a half inch clear acrylic cutouts. Uh, they're a little ornament shape. Now what I'm going to do, uh, just for the moment, I can move this. Okay. Just to show you as far as what I'm going to do for my paint. Uh, tonight I'm going to go really, really simple as far as colors are concerned. Now, if you are or happen to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel already, uh, you might have seen this very similar design. I did this something very, very similar um, on our paint along. Okay, so we're going to do some snowmen. Uh, for this one, I've got sky blue, or spa blue, excuse me, I said sky blue. And just the titanium white. Get that shook up just a little bit. Get a little bit added to my palette. Now, there is a secret to make sure that these ornaments, uh, the paint doesn't scratch or flake off over time. And that's going to be this. That's going to be the glass medium. Glass medium, if you're not familiar, um, I don't hear a whole lot of people using it really. Um, and I use this stuff all the time. Um, I am going to just add a good little drop here to each. Okay. And glass medium, essentially, it's just going to help the paint adhere to a smooth surface. Now, obviously, what I'm doing tonight is not glass, um, but it does work really well on acrylic. It works really well on, um, for example, if you're painting an enamel cup, those kind of things, anything with a nice, smooth surface. And yes, the glass medium can be oven cured, right? So if you're going to do something like an enamel cup or a jar or a vase, uh, then that's perfect. Not only will the oven curing keep your paint in place but this is that extra it won't scratch either <laughs> the only drawback and i kind of giggle just a little bit here um, because if you make a mistake though um it, it can be a little bit unforgiving once you mix it in if you make a mistake you do want to make sure that you correct that mistake as quickly as possible Now, I've got this grid laid out here. I'm not gonna use a ton of the grid lines. Sorry, get my paint put away. Get my fat hand right in front of the thing here. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I use, for tools, I use the Happy Dotting Company tools, and they are flat-headed. Um, I am going to go ahead and grab, uh, what do I want? Maybe a four for the center. Maybe a, yeah, I think I'll do a five. All right. I'm going to go with the blue center. And if you've seen me do these before, I like to do them in tandem. I'm going to do two at a time. And it does help just to make sure that whatever design or pattern that you've chosen uh, stays consistent, right? I mean, unless you're writing stuff down or it's something that you're gonna be doing over and over again, um, personally, at least for me, it's very easy <laughs> to forget what sizes you've used, for example. So, I'm just using a one. I'm just going to go around this blue center of a four.
And I'll do the same over here. I drew my two grids out here on a just a piece of black construction paper uh, just because it was makes a nice background could be anything really um, I was using white paper for a while when I started doing the clear acrylics but then I realized um, for you folks <laughs> that are actually watching this that's not really ideal um, so I'm using the black Okay. okay, and I'm just going to go up to a 1.5 and we're just going to do a second row. We're going to start in a little nook between these. And I'm just going to go on around. If at any point any of this comes out of view, Give me a yell. I'll try not to rotate these around too much, but it really does make it easier to do it this way. Okay. Yeah, and again, this is just a 1.5 and we're gonna fill this up here. Again, this is just the Spa Blue Deco Art Americana. It's my go to's. Okay, now we've got the center in place. And let's get some snowmen working. Uh, what size do I want to do these? You know what? I want them to be pretty good size, um, but I don't want to get too overlapped. I didn't measure it out in advance, but I think it's, yeah, that's going to work. A six is going to be just fine. So I'm going to go into the six and okay. this is going to be the little bottom snowball. Initially, I'm just going to do four. Let me take a look at that afterwards and see. I don't think I want to do six. I think it's going to get a little crowded for what I want to do. So let's at least do that. All right, now for its top, probably want to go down, well, I was thinking two, uh, but let's just go down maybe one. Yeah, I think that's going to be plenty big for its head. Okay. Now, normally I don't necessarily want to get my dots this close, but I do want to touch the edge on these ones. Yep. 
Once I get these done, we are gonna go into a bunch of swooshes. Especially if swooshes are something that you have a hard time with, hang tight. Um, for the first couple anyways, I will give you a real nice walkthrough. Um, I'll kind of show you how I do them. Two tooled. Okay. Now the snowmen are going to be down almost first, but we're not going to touch them again or put faces on them or do the other stuff for quite a while yet. Uh, so just sort of heads up. All right. And yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to move into a three. Now, for swooshes, I use two tools. That's because the head of the tools that I use is flat headed and of course they don't lend themselves well to moving uh, the paint for swooshes very well. Um, and although I do have a couple of ball headed tools, especially um, like this set comes with one, um, it's a two and a four. So not what I want to use, right? So um, I'm just going to go with the two tool method. I dragged out, and this is my go-to tool, uh, the 0.5 of the nail art tool, because it's kind of pointed ever, ever so slightly. Okay. And so let me get this adjusted just a little bit. We're going to go into the blue. Let's get this in a good spot. Okay. I'm going to start down at the bottom. And I'm going to put a dot right there. I'm going to leave my tool hanging out on the side. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm not going to clean it off. Now, what I'm going to do here, I want this to come all the way up. It's a very small dot. So for the swoosh, now this one's not going to be just straight. We're going to angle it around the snowman. Okay. So put the tool into the paint up here near the top. Then we're gonna push that slightly. Okay. And then essentially, we're just gonna draw a line sort of where we want it to go. All right now, as you can see, I'm kind of going back into the dot. That's essentially because I'm grabbing more paint and bringing it up. All right. Now it looks like a little funky <laughs> line. Okay, so to smooth it out, then I'm gonna go into the midline of the dot and pull it from the right side, okay? And just blend that down into the line, okay? And then the same here. I'm just gonna take this corner and bring it down. Now we have a more smooth, here we go, a little smooth swooshy. All right, because I'm doing this on acrylic, the paint moves really, really well really really well if you're doing this on like cardstock or something i will warn you um it's not going to be that easy because you may end up dragging your paint and you might get lines and things um, so just make sure that you load up your tool really really heavily uh, don't be afraid of that I'm going to pull that up to the snowman's head and come around here. Okay. All right. We're going to do that for all of these. The other thing that you could potentially do, um, and I did this for a little while as well, when I was kind of first starting with the swooshes that weren't just straight, you know, that kind of followed these curves more. Um, one of the things that you can do to kind of assist in, in getting that curve right initially is use the compass. Of course, in this particular case underneath, but if you're doing something else, use the compass and draw a circle around the object that you want to bring this in. Um, there we go. Okay. 
that circle then can be your guide. Now it's not going to be as tight around the object like these two dots here, but it does give you a better feel of how to guide your stuff around. Now these ones I'm kind of moving through quick. If anyone is popping in and wants me to show that again, give me a yell. Um, I'm going to be doing, like I said, a number of these. So I can always stop and show that again. But for now, let's just get this in. Now we're going to flip it. I'm going to use the same size tool. I just cleaned it off. We're going to go into the opposite color and then I'm going to put a dot right here on the line right next to the other one. And then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, the only difference is instead of starting in the middle, I'm going to start far over here on the left side and follow this line down first. And then I'm going to take this and just bring it to the corner. Okay. And this does go pretty fast once you get it down. Sorry, I'm kind of moving the paper all over the place here. I sort of anticipated keeping the paper in one spot, but yeah, swooshes and some of these, <laughs> they're not going to cooperate. I'm not that good where I'm going to be doing I can do everything upside down. I kind of always found that swishes are easier, quote unquote, upside down anyways to do um, or walk dots. Those elements are kind of easier to do this way away from you or i.e. upside down. Instead of, you know, doing it here and pulling the swoosh towards me, it's easier to do it here and push it up. So and that's another thing. If you're struggling with swooshes, don't be afraid to change up your tool and your method for doing it. Um, don't be afraid to flip stuff around. Make yourself comfortable. I think that's the biggest key because if you're not comfortable, then you're never going to master it. You're never going to get it. Um, it'll just take a lot longer in my opinion. Last one, oops, let's get that turned way around here. Now what I wanted to double check is because I could go the opposite direction. And you know what I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead with the with the other swooshes instead of just doing one down um, to fill in the space. All right. So rinse and repeat. Okay. So I've still got the three. We're going back into the blue. There's enough space right here. 
to put a blue dot. Okay. Oops. I almost missed one. I was already ready to go to the next. There. Okay. Let's get back to number one. Make sure that actually fits. I tend to compare this part a lot to just drawing and coloring as a kid. And every time I do it, I feel that again. Brings back that old nostalgia of <laughs> coloring. Tracing the lines um, of whatever it was in the coloring book. Coloring it in. So that's really all we're doing is drawing the lines and then just kind of painting that in. The only difference is we're doing it with a tool instead of a crayon. got away from me a little. It's okay. It'll blend right in. Okay. Oops. Wipe that off. I still had a little bit of blue on my tool. Make sure it's wiped off well enough. There we go. I'm gonna fix that in just a second here. Apparently a drop of water stuck in my tool. Got me a little messy. Since these are so close together, I'm just trying to get the water. There. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go back over that. Doesn't look like much yet, does it? It will. It's all gonna come together. There. 
same. Ooh. It's like, I want to cooperate. Okay. And I may go back over that one more time too, but right now it's still wet. We're getting there. So it doesn't look like much yet. you guys are all having a good night too as I'm getting this done don't know if you're following along or not but yeah give me a yell if you into anything that you want me to go back over okay so now we've got those two in now we have this space here and what I want to do is get a nice large dot uh, let's see, I can probably, let's think what I want to do here. That might be a little fun change. Sorry. Um, what I'm thinking is taking a six and I could bring a swoosh all the way out here and bring that down and then fill that in. That sounds fun to me. This is a heck of a lot of swooshes. Um, the other part that we're gonna do, well, you know what I could do also? Um, let me know real quick, guys, if you have a preference, if you're following along. So there's two things that I could do here. At this point, uh, like I said, I could take a big swoosh, um, put it here, and then drag it down so you'll have just one nice big teardrop shape right here okay or the other thing that i could do um, is just make this a dot that's much closer in okay and then we can do some walked dots uh, it's not going to be very many um, but we could fill this space with some walked dots That would give you something a little bit other than just swooshes, if that sounds interesting. I don't think I actually did. Yeah, I did the walk dots on the original one, but again, that was a much bigger canvas. So I'm not gonna have quite that much room here, um, but I could do uh, one dot and then a nice walk around the edge. Okay. I can probably still stick with the six. You know what? Let's do, let's do a hybrid. Let's do a hybrid of that. Let's put a dot. Let's get it somewhere on this line right about there. And then how's about... Still go in here like that. Okay, same concept as the other swooshes, um, just a little simpler. 
grab from the top, drag it through, push it down, and then grab left and right corner. Kind of squeeze that in there. That's a little fatty. Chunky dot there. I go through this I'm gonna begin and hello whoever is popping in to join tonight certainly appreciate you stopping by if you have any questions give me a yell I am up for a chat if you've got something okay it doesn't necessarily have to be related to this particular project So once I get this one in, on these sides, then we'll go ahead and do a row of walk dots and maybe two. Um, we might be pushing it for two though. Might be pushing it. I don't think, oh, if I use maybe like a one, really really small I might be able to get another one in there oops that was not loaded up properly okay and drag this one this way just a little bit okay Fill up that space. I'm going to take a quick second to back pedal here. I'm going to go into a two. Just wanted to kind of cover that edge up. I know that one got goofed up, but we'll live. All right, so now let's do, let me put this swoosh tool away for now. I can get away with that too. I'm gonna go into the white. Let's get a header dot here. Right on the top of the swoosh right on the line and I'm going to move down to a 1.5 and then we're gonna walk. If I can, you know what? I'm kind of pushing this out of your view, aren't I? Let's make sure I don't do that.
kind of doing some upside down and backwards. Now that was a two, let me go 2.5. I can even do a three. I think I can have room everywhere. Yeah, do. Yeah, so let's move up to a three instead. Right on top here. And then I'm going to go to a 2 instead of a 2.5. I want them a little smaller. better. Turn it upside down. It's kind of like a snowflake, right? I suppose if anybody wanted to, you could just leave that <laughs> without doing the snowmen, without putting faces on them and leave it like that. Have a little snowflake. down here. Let's get them right set up. I'm going to go with a four. We're going to stay with the blue. I'm going to add a few little crowns here. One dot on either side of the line and one on top. I don't know if these little things have real names, but I call it a crown.
that one fits nicely right on the tip right on the little hanger of our ornament We've got those all. Do a quick look at the snowmen. If I tilt these just ever so gently in the light, just kind of move my head around here, I can see in the light that some of the snowmen, their bottom, because it's a larger dot, it's still a little shiny. Uh, meaning it's still a little bit wet. So I don't think I want to touch that uh, yet. I think I want to wait just a moment before I start on my snowman faces. Okay, so we do have one other little spot here. Right here. In between these. How do we want to fill that up? It's going to be white, kind of no matter what I do with that. We could just do a series of lock dots out, and I don't think that would be too bad. Or I could just put, you know what, a, a nice solid one here. Like maybe a five. Might not be bad either. Just sort of thinking what we want to do. I don't necessarily want to get this too crowded in here, um, but I kind of would like something there. We could put a dot maybe on the edge or something smaller. Or I could just sprinkle some more stuff in here. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what it looks like after we've done our snowmen. Just to be on the safe side, just to make sure I don't regret it. All right, so let's go and grab, let me see. I need three colors. Okay, orange, red, and black. Let's get us some snowmen. Okay, I'm shaking my paint up here. Let's see what size we want his buttons. I think that's probably going to be a 1.5 it looks like. Yeah, I'm not going to have room enough for it too. Yeah, so 1.5. And I'm just going to take and very, very gently. One, two, and three. make that an equal size ideally I would like to wait a smidge longer before doing this but it is what it is I 
there. We've got some charcoal buttons. that off and I'm gonna go down to a one for the eyes get them sort of near the top because they do have to have a nose we're not done with you guys yet unfortunately they don't have a hat well you know what they kind of do I guess my little crowns could be a little hat ish looking thing I don't know what do you think <laughs> does it look enough like a hat to be called a hat Eh. Maybe if I had, at the time, um, I've never really done that. I never thought about that, really. Um, but if I had maybe drawn this and made it like a true triangle or kind of squared this and make a little top hat. Whatever. I'm checking to make sure... Let's do the scarf first. Let's do the scarf. Cherry red. I'm gonna stay probably with the 1.5. Ah, uh, no, it's not gonna fit. One. Okay. Put a dot there and one up here and i'm going to pull that one through and that one through magic scarf okay essentially that's just a swoosh since it's such a small tool the one still has a nice pointed head so it gives me the ability to pull these ones like a swoosh I swear I'd never be able to do that with a larger size. Okay. As you can see, I'm just pulling it across what would be the little guy's neck. Guy or girl. And on to the other side. Magic scarf. You can make it any color you like. Sort of just stuck with the red uh, just to have a nice bright pop of color in there somewhere since the rest is kind of muted. But you know what? As I think about it, like a purple scarf would be pretty. Something like a, I don't know about a green, but maybe even like a pink or purple. Something like that would be kind of fun. Uh, which way are we doing our scarves over here? 
want to make sure that somebody doesn't have his on backwards. One of these snowmen is not like the other. There's that, and hopefully it's been enough time. I'm gonna stay on the one, and I'm gonna go into my orange, and we're gonna give you a nose. We're gonna do the, almost the exact same thing as I just now did with the scarf. Oops, let me wipe that off and dry it a little better. So I want it to go the opposite direction as the scarf. So I'm going to take that and put it kind of underneath his eye and then pull. Whew. You know what? That's a big nose. I could possibly have gotten away with doing this as a 0.5 instead of a one point or a one, excuse me. It is what it is now. You guys got healthy noses. Big honkers on you guys. Ooh, you got a really big one. Okay. All right. Welcome to the world, my snowman. You're all gorgeous now. What have I got for something a little sparkly, a little extra? Uh, since there's not a ton going on on these, what if I don't have, for whatever reason, blue has not been used a whole lot for me. Uh, the metallic that I've got is this ice blue, and although it is really bright, that might that might work. Otherwise, I've got zinc, which I've been using a lot of lately. Very pretty shine to it. Uh, I do have a silver, but I don't want to use silver. I do not want to use silver on this. Um, it's already kind of muted as it is. What if we try the blue? You know what? what? What's the worst thing that can happen, right? We decide we don't like it. All right, whatever. Okay. Probably gonna go into like a three here. Uh, no, two five. Let's go two five. And actually, I'm going to put a well, let's see. Let's put a little bit of this in the palette this time. It's a pretty blue. that bad. I'm going to bring these all really close together. It really is ice blue. bring it out. It's a little pop of color. Maybe I'll regret it. Oops. 
if you're watching this after the fact, let me know what you think. Would have changed colors, done it different, kept it kind of a more muted palette. Silver, more white, something like that. What I could do, matter of fact, is, which might be fun, um, I don't know that I'll be able to do it while I'm with you guys right now, but is once this blue dries, I'm gonna put a nice fat dot of it here. What I could do is on top of the blue, um, the metallic blue is then do a silver on top of that so that it kind of it does bring it down a little bit but it's still nice and shiny i think that would look pretty good too slightest little point on these. I think my mid was a was a four, so let's go with three five. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. Now that is I think just about gonna finish it up. What do I, I could, I still need something here. And do you know what I think I might do? Now that we have this nice circle going on, um, I could just bring some dots out this way. Let me get my Q-tip handy. Let me see if I actually like this. What do we think? was a little short. Now, I'm just gonna go back in and remove it. Okay, I need a couple of Q-tips though for that. The stuff around it has dried sufficiently. 
that just the wet tip of the wet tip of the q-tip will wipe that off pretty easily okay, i've got a little ziploc bag with a whole bunch of q-tips in it let me grab a one or two Otherwise, unless someone is like, hey, I have a better idea, I think that'll pretty well wrap it up. I think that's, I think we're going to call that good. I do have the opportunity to go back in and kind of touch up these blue sparkle areas with either white or silver. Again, just to add another little pop there without it being a little more sparkle, but uh, keeping it a little more muted. Okay, and the last one here. as if they never existed. <laughs> All right, never be stingy with your Q-tips. And otherwise, maybe the only other one that I could think to put a dot on would be these, but I think I'd probably, these were a three, yeah, okay. And then we'll leave that. Now I have not done this, but one of the things that you could potentially do with these acrylic clear ornaments, or, you know, I've been doing a lot of bookmarks too recently, this clear acrylic, love it recently, is you could paint the back of it. If you have um, maybe some glitter, uh, some clear glitter or spray glitter, you could spray the back of it. That I think would give it a nice, pretty sheen. I can't really think of anything that I want to, to add in here that is gonna make a huge difference. The only other thing that I could think of um, would be a small set of swooshes. And I, I think that's just, going to be a little too much for such a small little palette um that we've got here i i don't know that that's going to work all that great so all right so let me get these off of here Oops. Trying to pull up the tape. These did come with very short little ties. but I can add these as well now. Okay. 
Okay, get that nice and tight. So if you're watching this one and you did kind of like the snowman idea, and if you've not subscribed or if you've not checked out the rest of the channel, just here this past weekend, which would have been December 2nd and 3rd, I did do our annual paint along event. So I am gonna be picking out some sort of a holiday themed thing uh, to do live. And it is really, really, really step by step. It is really, really slow paced. Um, so you, you can really, really follow along. There we go. Uh, oh, matter of fact, I actually have that right here. So if you did like that one, I did a bigger mandala, um, kind of with the same theme, a little bit more muted. Uh, that one is very, very simplistic. Um, I know it is like a nine inch round, but I only did more or less the center of it uh, just to make sure that anybody that did want to follow along that either wasn't familiar with dot art at all um, or was maybe just not as comfortable yet um, that it wasn't going to overwhelm you. Right. Um, so I didn't make the whole nine inch packed full. Um, so check that out if you like that. I would love to see the results of what people have come up with and the things that they changed on those. Okay, but otherwise, um, I'm done. Hopefully you like those. Hopefully those are something that you have maybe learned something on. Um, you've been able to practice your swooshes or um, just came to hang out. And if you did, I certainly appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly drop a comment. But otherwise, take care. Have a fantastic day. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.